Isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Sisimulan ko ang aking pagbabahagi sa isang katanungan. Why do we feel pain? Bakit po tayo nakararanas ng sakit o karamdaman? According to Medical News Today, pain is an unpleasant sensation and emotional experience that links to tissue damage. Take note po, it allows the body to react and prevent further tissue damage. People feel pain when a signal travels through nerve fibers to the brain for interpretation. In short po, pain keeps us from hurting ourselves more. Imagine while preparing uh, your ingredients sa pagluluto at paghihiwa ka, uh, ka ng gulay. Yes, gulay po. At bigla kang nahiwa sa kamay. Agad-agad mong tatanggalin ang iyong daliri o kamay upang hindi na ito maluhubah pang masugatan. Or nagpiprito ka ng isda, tatalsikan ka ng matika, agad-agad kang lalayo upang hindi ka na matalsikan pa ng mas malubha. Pain keeps us from hurting ourselves more. Alam niyo po ba ang sakit na leprosy? Or in a scientific term, it's called Hansen's disease after the scientists who discovered the bacteria causing the, the disease. Basahin po natin ang nakasaad sa Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 to 4. When he came down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And behold, a leper came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go. Show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a proof to them. This is the time that uh, Jesus concludes the Sermon on the Mount and great crowds followed him. One man is mentioned specifically, which is a leper. Ano po ba ang leprosy? Contrary to popular belief na ang sakit na ito ay caused by flesh-eating bacteria, kaya nauubos yung kanilang mga appendages na tatanggal yung mga daliri tsaka, sa kamay at sa paa. Actually, it is caused by a bacterial attack on the nerves. The bacteria causes skin deformity and nerve damage. Yung mga bacteria, kinakain yung mga nerves. If untreated, leprosy will cause hand or foot paralysis. In short po, people with leprosy cannot feel pain. Kaya hindi sila aware na mas nasasaktan at nasusugatan pa nila ang kanilang sarili up to the point na kahit tagos ang ganlaman at buto ay hindi nila ito nararamdaman. Clearly here, the leper doesn't feel physical pain but he is experiencing emotional and spiritual pain. Again po, why do we feel pain? Pain in a spiritual sense. Number one, to warn us. The Bible often uses physical ailment to teach spiritual lessons and that is exactly what is happening here. We are all sick with a fatal spiritual illness, namely sin. Sinning without convictions make us do more sins, according to Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. There is only one hope for a cure. His name is Jesus. From John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. Si Lord lang po ang ating cure to conquer the spiritual sickness. But things stand in our way of going to Him. Madami tayong mga excuses, peer pressure, busyness sa trabaho, maraming ibang ginagawa, sometimes uh, cultural boundaries din. But the leper conquered all stigma, even though he knows that he can't be together with the crowd fearing to all go away and smell his stench. He still went to Jesus for cleansing, for him to be fully healed from his sickness. Number two, for us to be confident in God. In verse two, the man's statement isn't a question. It is a statement. Like the instruction in James Chapter 1, this isn't a double-minded man. He comes to Jesus in full confidence of Jesus' ability. And that is to glorify God. God is glorified when His children come to Him knowing He can manipulate His world however He wishes to care for them and refine them. 
in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Lagi pong nariyan ang Diyos para sa atin. And tayo lang po ang kinakailangan maging confident sa Lord. Number three, for us to call on God boldly. Notice how this man, this leper, makes his request out in the open in front of everyone. Aren't we sometimes afraid to request so boldly in public in prayer? Sometimes we make a really big request to God in the closet because we just aren't sure. We want others to see how big we pray. And I think sometimes we do that because we are afraid to look foolish if God doesn't answer the, that prayer with what we ask. Perhaps God wants us to pray our boldest prayers in public because it's how He receives the most praise. Don't get confused with what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, verses 6 to 8. This is addressed to the hypocrites. But remember what uh, the apostles did in the book of Acts chapter 4, verses 29 to 31. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Kapag nagdadasal pala tayo ng, uh, in public, doon mas nagiging effective yung prayer natin. In conclusion po, pain is actually a blessing. Physically, it helps us not to harm ourselves more. But spiritually, pain is like conviction. Having conviction whenever you commit sin avoids us from committing more sins. Don't be a spiritual leper. Having pain, especially if it is unbearable, makes us sick for an immediate cure. It helps us seek God more. It helps us focus our spiritual priorities on God. In some ways, pain can be grace. Jesus is the only healer that can take away all our sickness and sins. Jesus' healing is immediate. We just need to accept Lord Jesus Christ as our one and only Lord and Savior. From John 3, 16 to 17, For God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. To God be the glory.